Well, hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for visiting my channel again. And first of all, uh, because this is the end of the year, and as I told you in a pre previous video, I'm a, I'm a mailman. This time of the year, I don't have so much time to fish, but actually, I got some action here for you. So you got, you're going to see some fishing action too, beside of me trying to talk to you here, uh, listening to my heroic struggle with English. But uh, I just want to say thank you for being with me in the entire year. Thank you for being with me, even when it was hard to be with me. And uh, I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. And a happy new year, hopefully, with the very good luck of fishing next year. So as I told you, I got something here for you. This material is not enough to do a full scale uh, Turu Rads video. And then the other thing is like, here it is behind me. This is where, where Turu Rads happening. I got this Apple computer and this is where I, I edit all my videos. So you got a chance to see behind the curtain here a little bit. But anyway, enough of talk. I'm going to start this video for you and I'm going to get a coffee and I'll get back at the very end for you again. Hopefully you'll like it. Enjoy it. There's some good fish coming up. Well, here I am again, back under the bridge. There's something about this spot, it's hard to explain. It's mysterious. A place of a lot of big fish. Just look at it in the dark. All kinds of different fish lives here. You can run into giant tarpon, big snook. Galaya grouper. Even the other day, I've seen rays coming by, and believe it or not, there was a giant cobia literally riding on their back like a cowboy. I'm fishing a very large Savage Gear pool steel mullet here, and I made a major mistake. I don't even know about it yet, but I really did. I'm only using a light tackle, relatively light for this spot, with this giant bait. I shouldn't know better. No small fish going to say hi to this one. A few more seconds, and you're going to see. It. It's pretty sad, but I hope you guys, you will learn from it. Definitely I did. Just check out how long I'm going to let this lure sink. The water is pretty deep, probably about eight, 10 feet here. And this lure is not a fast sinker. It's sinking kind of slow. So I need to wait. The fish that I'm looking for, definitely laying on the bottom. Just broke me off. Whatever it was, it was big. I couldn't stop it. I could not stop it. It went in between the pilings. Son of a gun. That was a good fish. Took my giant pool stay on mullet. I gotta be tied now. 
Dang it. Got one. Pretty decent size. Oh, his spirit, man. He's right there. He's right there. He's right freaking there. Oh my gosh. He was like a good 35, probably. Wow. I'm just quickly inspecting this hook here. I wonder what happened. Feels just fine. Sometimes stuff happens. It just didn't hook right. Gotta deal with it. It is what it is. It's a little fish, just a little guy. guys after i i lost two really good snook one was about 35 but the first one who knows how big he was he was a giant this one is about in between 25 and 27 inches little fish ate that big old six inch swim bait <laughs> it needs to go back in the water at least something Here we go, brother. Swim be free.
I got one. I got one. It's gotta be a nice fish. He ate a nine inch lure. Yeah, he's all right. He's all right, not bad. A nice snook. I got him on a really strong tackle. Just because the previous fish that you just saw. Yeah, he's a good fish. I'm just gonna land it by him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Well, look like the bigger ones moving in. This one is probably about, I say probably a good 38 inches, 37, 38. <laughs> Finally, a big snook. Gotta go back in the water. Gosh, I just keep thinking about the first one that got away. Here we go, big girl, go. There she goes. Good job, girl. Thanks for the catch. One more nice fish on the R&R. &R. Yeah, baby. And then, man, just look at the size of the lure this snook ate. Don't be afraid using big bait. Don't be afraid of using big bait if you want to catch a big snook. Yep, I said that right. You want to catch a big snook, you got to use a big lure. At the end, I'm going to show you my very favorite ones. I already put them on a the countertop, so I have to just walk over there. Uh, and my little dog, I don't know what's going on with him. He's kind of grumpy. Say hi to everybody, Griffin. So yeah, let's go to the countertop and, and see those lures. So here we go, guys. Here are my favorites. So I put my computer mouse over there. That's not a lure, <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> That's over there just to have an idea about the size of all these lures. The snook, the big snook that I landed on this video ate this one. The very big one that got away ate one of these. This one is a purple, but that one was, I think that one called the silver mullet. The one that that fish ate. And of course my favorite hard baits. And this guy over here, everybody who who chases snook, everybody knows what this is. This is a flat hog jig, my favorite color in the dark. And uh, you must have a few of these in your tackle box if you call yourself a, a snook, snook fisherman. So pretty much that's it. There is no secret. You just gotta do it. Keep casting, keep casting. That's all I can tell you. Thank you for spending this few minutes here with me again. And I'll see you at the next adventure. Merry Christmas to you guys.